Hello, welcome to Dream Infinity Studios Illustrator tutorial. Um, we're going to be going over um, how to apply a transform again effect onto Illustrator. This is actually a really useful um, tool to use in various projects, um, and I'm going to show you why today. Now we're going to be creating some psychedelic shapes. Um, I just had a couple of circles here. I'm going to delete it and start from scratch. Um, go to the cir circle, the ellipse tool, uh, under the shape tool. And um, make sure you have no fill and just a black outline, as you can see right here. So we're going to create it, um, a circle. Um, hold shift and just drag. Now to hold, the reason why we hold shift is because in Illustrator, when you hold shift and create any shapes, um, it constrains the proportions. And so it's a perfect circle. If you don't, it kind of goes all over the place. So we want to hold shift. Now under um, after you create one circle, you want to go to the rotate tool, which is right here. Make sure the rotate tool is selected and not the reflect tool. Um, and then, as you can see, you can see a blue crosshair, like very faint right there. Um, you want to get that, select that, and just drag it all the way down to the bottom center. It might take a couple tries if you're new at this, but you can do it. So then, um, afterwards, we, um, after you do that, make sure you're still selected in the rotate tool, and then we want to rotate the circle. And as you can see, it rotates with the, the crosshair being the target of the rotation. So we want to rotate this just a little bit like that. And as you can see the outline, um, you can see that I kind of rotated a little bit. Now hold Alt and the, make sure you have your uh, finger on your left mouse button when you're dragging around. Hold Alt and it becomes a black and white arrow key and just let go of the mouse. Now as you can see we made a copy. Now we're going to do this thing called transform again. How to do that is we go to Object, Transform, Transform again, which is right here. And as you can see, you created another duplicate. Now the shortcut key to transform again is Control D by default, unless you changed it on your preferences. So what we're going to do is press Control D and just hold it down actually. As you can see, it creates this psychedelic circle all over the place. Um, not psychedelic circle, but creates circle all over the place. As you can see, we just created a little psychedelic pattern. This is exactly how Transform Again works. Um, it works with anything. Um, to be honest, actually, let's just get one circle, hold Alt, or hold, uh, click on the object first, move it, then hold Alt. And you can see the arrow turns, and we're just going to sp split the circle and copy it. What happens when we do Transform Again? It memorizes the exact specified steps of what we just did. So, um, why is that useful? Well, one good example is my Strident's wallpaper. Um, if you haven't seen it, it's on my site, and you can visit the URL up here on this upper right corner. Um, but on the Strident's wallpaper, you see these little waves. A lot of people think I use 3D programs. Why not? I mean, I do use 3D programs. For instance, this little ribbon right here was done with um, a 3D program. But these lines, no, we can totally fake that in Illustrator. Make it an Illustrator and kind of bring it into Photoshop. How I did that is basically just created a wave with the pen, wave with the pen tool. Kind of like that. Now I'm doing it really fast, but when I was doing the production for Stridents, it was much in detail. And so I'm going to kind of thin out the line to 0.5 a little bit, which is the weight. And then I'm just going to select it, copy. Just like that. Maybe if the if you want the lines to be a little closer. Let's start over again just like that and we do transform again that's it simple as that something so simple yet you can create really nice vibrant shapes now what happens um, when we rotate this and we do transform um, and then let's copy it oops and hold alt and then we transform again there we go we just created this really cool pattern so basically, that's exactly what you do with Transform Again. Um, it's a really easy to use tool, but very powerful and very cre um, you can get really creative with it. So I hope it helped you out, and I hope it was in better detail than it was in my written tutorials. Thank you.